Et c'est chez moi, c'est la comme de croco. Okay, so it's Monday, and now that the shop is open Saturdays, my weekend has gone from Saturday Sunday to Sunday Monday. And that basically leaves me at the house kind of doing some just like really domestic things. But as things sort of start to pick up, I feel like this is too Let's do this in the office. Right. So now things are going to be a little bit more domestic around here because, you know, it was usually like a, uh, you know, at the shop day where I would shoot the vlog. But now I'm here, so I get to be a little more creative with my time because usually, you know, Angela will be off on Sundays or Saturdays and we would hang out together and I would kind of document that a little bit. But now I'm actually have a lot more time to do like things for these videos. Um, I don't really know where that's gonna go yet, but I am excited about it. Do you wanna come in? Come in. My plan to only have like shop footage anyway. I actually didn't really want to have as much as there is. And then there's also some people starting at the store who are also going to be working with me there which is just going to kind of make it a little bit awkward to sit there and try and have some like you know. Anyway it's a nice enough day outside and apparently there is the possibility of snow tonight again so I'm going to take advantage of today by going for a run hopefully a bike ride. Angela's off at three, so we'll probably end up going grocery shopping. I don't know if I'll put that in the vlog at all because it's kind of boring. Um, but because there's going to be a bunch of snow on the ground, I want to take advantage of today and uh, use this little bit of half decent weather that we have. Angela gets mad when I like shoot in the bedroom and the bed's not made. So, I gotta go for a run because it's not nice enough out to go mountain biking and it's not fair to him for me to go for a road ride without him because then he's got too much energy and he's just bouncing off the walls just like I do if I don't get a run. Such a nice day out today. It's almost impossible to believe that we're gonna get maybe five to ten centimeters. Can't get over how busy it is on the sidewalks and on the trails, being a Monday afternoon. There's tons of people everywhere. Doesn't anyone have a job? Well, I'm gonna take. Uh, I'm gonna take the. The the fancy bike for a ride. It's definitely not fancy, it's not even as nice as like some people's winter training bikes, but uh, to me, it's made of cloth and glue, so pretty fancy. By no means. All right, let's try that again. So by no means is this gonna be a long ride at all. Uh, it's been like six, seven weeks since I've actually been on a road bike. I haven't pushed out any more than like 20k. 20k was probably the longest ride I've done and that was yesterday. At a pretty easy, easy pace uh, on a mountain bike with a rear tire that was going flat, which I'll address later. Um, I basically just want to go to this climb uh, down the road, go up it, there's a cool like switchback descent, and uh, just fly down that and come back home. Probably less than an hour of riding.
literally called Rolling Hill Drive. It's not like it's a, an insane climb by any means. But it's really only like 10k away from the house, maybe even less than that. And it's just kind of fun to like grind up this. And then there's a bit of a... And then like I said, there's just a fun, really short, like switchback descent. Pretty far from a good climber. In the world of cycling, I'm pretty well considered like overweight. Especially seven weeks off the bike and during Burger Week. Okay, here's hoping there's no cars on this descent. Oh man, I hope that turned out cool. It felt sweet. I kind of forgot how bumpy that is and how terrifying it is to go down with any sort of real speed. <laughs> okay, and that's exactly why I came out, was to do that. So, on the way home. So throughout yesterday's ride on that bike, <clears throat> the rear tire was like consistently going flat and I knew this was an issue, but I just figured that I needed to like fill it up and go for a ride to get the sealant in my tubeless setup to actually like get to all the spots where air is leaking out. Um, not really taking into account the fact that I had set those up tubeless like maybe eight months ago. And sealant tends to dry up. Uh, so naively I just sort of thought that I had all kinds of sealant in there and then I checked and it's it's totally dry. There's nothing in there. So thankfully it's a super easy fix. <laughs> Well, I should add, it's a super easy fix with one of these. <laughs> and it's that simple. Problem solved. Tubeless setups, I find, tend to get like a bit of a bad rap because, because because it just seems like it's a big messy deal to do. It's actually really not that bad. Uh, then you have a setup that doesn't get pinch flats and it doesn't get punctures. All you have to do is not be lazy like I am and uh, make sure you top the sealant up every so often. If you are curious about going tubeless or aren't sure how to do it, tubeless valve. Sealant, compressor, done.